Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr. Abdurafi here again and today I'll be discussing another clinical case that will be very interesting so let's get right into it this was the case about 16 year old boy who came to the OPD with a complaint of pain on biting on both sides of his jaw upon examination we found that he had internal staining that was due to fluorosis upon further evolution he, he also told us that he has been using hard water since Childhood for rinsing, for drinking, and for other uses as well. Pale case dekhte hain, pale internal staining, fluorosis dekhte hain, and we will further talk about the case. Now look at this clinical picture and focus on upper and lower central and lateral incisors. As I have told that there is an internal staining which is due to uh, fluorosis as you can see in this clinical picture. Now if you observe closely, you can also sense that these uh, uh, central and lateral incisors of both upper and lower jaw has uh, a rough surface and also they had a pitting surface as well which shows that and which confirms that these teeth are hypoplastic and it can be most probably due to fluorosis as the history suggests but there can be other reasons as well for the hypoplasia of uh, central and lateral incisors other significant things in this clinical picture is that the patient had ectopic canine eruptions that is 1, 3, 2, 3 and 4, 3. Ectopic eruption is basically the eruption of any of the tooth other than its uh, normal pathway of eruption and these canines are erupted buccally. As I have said, the patient had fluorosis and due to fluorosis, we found that he had pitting on its central and, and lateral incisors as well. Adding on, he had ectopic eruption as we have seen in the clinical picture. Furthermore, as we looked up to the molars, they were hypoplastic as well and uh, they had different morphology. Different morphology than the normal molars uh, uh, and to evaluate them, I advised an OPG that is an orthopantogram extra radiograph. Now as we looked uh, up to the molars they were of different morphology and they were TTP po positive and molars were hypoplastic as well. If you observe this uh, molar that is th tooth number 36 uh, it has uh, a different morphology of its cusp. Uh, and its cusps are needle like if you compare these cusps with the cusp of 7 you can uh, have a distinct uh, differentiation and these can be the symptoms and these can be the clinical features of uh, amelogenesis imperfecta as well in hypoplastic types of amelogenesis imperfecta uh, the enamel over the whole crown is affected and also enamel does not reach the uh, proper thickness uh, and teeth have sharp needle like cusp as you can see in this clinical picture. Now moving on to the other side of the jaw. This is the tooth number 4, 6. Uh, if you observe the cusp of this tooth as well, they are of, uh, of a needle like shape and other than that way it suggests that they are hypoplastic and that is why due to these clinical, clinical feature, uh, features and clinical features I advise an OPG to found that if uh, underlying enamel is of proper thickness or not. I will tell how I uh, evaluate that uh, enamel can be hypoplastic in the radiograph uh, and again if you compare these cusps with the cusp of 7 you can see the difference they are of needle shape and they are of normal morphology we have discussed the molars uh, clinically that they were of different morphology also they were hypoplastic now we'll move on to the radiographic findings. Let's get into it. Now look at this OPG. As patient said he has pain on biting. Now if you look at the lower jaw, 
there is a generalized bone loss as well as if you look at the tooth number 36 and tooth number 46 they are less radio opaque than the other teeth in the oral cavity which confirms that they are hypoplastic and have very thin enamel as well as they have bone loss around them leading to bad periodontal condition and that is why patient had pain on biting and if you look at the lower and upper anterior uh, teeth central and lateral incisor they are less radiopaque they are also less radiopaque than the other teeth in the oral cavity which confirms that they are hypoplastic as well my differential diagnosis would be molar incisor hypoplasia amylogenesis imperfecta and hypoplasia due to uh, fluorosis other than that the patient had pain on biting why because th these molars are uh, hypoplastic and they cannot bear uh, normal masticatory or heavy mas masticatory loads Difference, differential diagnosis would be molar incisor hypoplasia, amylogenesis imperfecta, and fluorosis, or hypoplasia due to fluorosis. But I would strongly go for uh, fluorosis, and uh, that is why the teeth were hypoplastic. If there would have been no history of uh, hard water, uh, then uh, we would have evaluated for amylogenesis imperfecta and molar incisor hypoplasia. क्योंकि amylogenesis imperfecta का genetic cause होता है जब यहाँ पे हमें history में एक cause मिल रहा है hard water का जो के खारा पानी होता है जिसमें mineral content ज़्यादा होता है fluoride content ज़्यादा होता है that can regress the collagen synthesis and enamel production तो उसकी वजह से आपके दांत hypoplastic हो सकते हैं ठीक है अगर यहाँ पे cause नहीं होता तो हम amylogenesis imperfecta की तरफ जाते हैं other than that, treatment for such teeth uh, uh, that have gone hypoplasia and are hypoplastic, uh, they cannot bear uh, excessive loads and masticatory forces up to the uh, ideal level. So we prefer metal or PFM grounds for them so they can bear masticatory forces. Thank you.